Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today's video is part one of two on how to overwinter your pepper plants. Pepper plants are grown as annuals and that's because most areas that we garden in get a frost. So when the frost comes it kills off the plant. I'm going to be getting my heavy frost next a week. It's been getting into the 40s and you can see the leaves are dying off. The plant is still nice and green. This is the perfect time to prune them. So this video I will show you how to prune the top of your plants to get them ready for overwintering. And the second part will really be focusing on the roots, potting them up, and where do you place them. So you want to do this before the frost rolls in or it's going to damage the uh, plant. And we're going to cut back most of this. So let's just start with cutting this back some and getting it all on camera. This is a ghost pepper. You can do this with all your pepper plants. Now, not all of them will survive. Even if you do everything right, sometimes they, they don't make it for various reasons. So we start with cutting the plant back to here. We're going to keep about four to six inches of the main stem. And I'm going to show you how to cut it into a V shape. Let me focus in a so little bit more. Coming out of the ground is the main stem right here. That's what we're going to keep, and we really take it up to where it's going to V right here. So let me cut some of these out, show you that V shape. We also want to take off all the leaves if they're not off already. So right in here, we have the main stem. Cut that off, cut that off. Let's remove it, keeping the stem intact, the main stem. now. When this overwinters, it's just going to kind of be brown and green, no leaves. Come spring, all new branches will come out of here and the whole plant will grow out from here. So now you can have the main stem, let it V out, keep one to two inches and that's perfectly fine. I'm going to let mine V out twice. I'll show you what I mean by that. So we have the main stem coming up, it V's out, and typically you would keep one or two inches of the V here, or the Y, but I'm going to let it then Y out one more time, keep an inch or two, let it Y out one more time, and then once again. And this is how I'm going to keep this red ghost pepper. My whole goal is to hopefully get uh, twice the production because this plant will have a great root root system It'll be established and it'll look just like this come spring These are going to die off in the winter, but it'll just put out leaves and new branches and it'll really take off so again straight up V Leave one to two inches and if you want you could go to another V All right, so that's one way to prune. Let's go to another example. So this is a good example of how you would prune this in kind of in the classic way and then I'll give you the same example with the jalapeno. So this is my Anaheim chili and I'm just cutting off main stem still nice and green the frost hasn't come about six inches up here's the Y and I'm gonna leave just an extra Y up here but it's just one to two inches for where it V's out one to two inches. Right in here is another V. I'm going to keep that. You could remove it if you want to. But classically, it's just straight up. V's out. Looks like a Y. One to two inches, and then you would overwinter it. So here's a really good example of a jalapeno plant. Here's the V shape. Straight up, six inches. V's out. That's a perfect example. And if you're just doing it simply with one V, this is what it would look like. Now when we store this for the winter, we don't want any leaves in there. And again, today's video is just showing you how to set up the basic shape. And this is probably the most classic example of what I'm talking about. Straight up, six inches, V's out, looks like a Y, the whole part. Nice and green still, the frost hasn't gotten to it. This will get overwintered and you can maybe see little leaves coming out of here. This will overwinter and then come spring in the right weather all new leaves and branches will come out. And this is perfect for overwintering. So in this video, I just wanted to give you some idea of how to prepare the top of the plant to be overwintered. In the next video, we're gonna talk about the roots, the soil, and where you can put your pepper plants to overwinter them. Hope you enjoyed the video. This gives you some confidence to prep 
your pepper plants to be overwintered. Wintered. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.